Hi everyone, Audrey here. I know I have been doing post video like I normally would. A lot has happened the past several weeks. We had a vacation to Florida alongside with Hurricane Ian. Our son just went through a big leap. If you don't know what leap it is, it is a big development on baby, both mentally and physically. On top of that, we got a new kitten Bella. I'm also doing a full deep cleaning around the house. So yes, a lot is happening at this moment. I just realized it is time for me to do my Hoya tour video, so here I am. Today's video is all about Hoya cuttings. I'm going to do a Hoya cutting update. I will have a short DIY video coming up, hopefully next week or two, and then it will be my mature Hoya tour. Let's dive into today's video. This is my Hoya history Anna. I don't know if you guys still remember how tiny it was when I first received it, but it's such a big Hoya now. It loves Leica a lot, so I just decided to keep this one in the Leica B in the in this part. It has no hole in the bottom, so it's perfect for a Leica Hoya. And I love love this one. Look at the color on this one; it's so beautiful. I especially love the new leaves. When under the sun, the new leaves turn pink color like this one. It's so beautiful. And then even the growth pattern on this one is just so different. It's clustered into one and uh, you know, some Hoya when they grow and they grow a really long branch without a leaf. But this one just keeps growing leaf first and then the branch. So it's such a beautiful Hoya. Here is the Hoya Sunrise. Look how beautiful this one is. I don't know if you can see it. Let's turn it to this side. But look how beautiful the leaves are under the sun. It truly shows the sunrise on this Hoya. I kind of understand why a lot of people love this Hoya and that's the one reason I really want it. Look how beautiful this one is. It's actually still in Leica B. I haven't piled anything on this one. I haven't decided if I would want to put this one in the Leica or put it back in the soil. But so far it's going really good. Here are my all my Hoya cuttings that I put them in the pot earlier this year. They are going pretty good. I don't know, I kind of like it when they stay in the pot. I guess I will keep them in this glass jar until they absolutely have to be repotted because look at this. It's such a beautiful thing. So here is my Hoya Crony Anna Silver and I love love this Hoya, it's so cute and it has been growing a little bit. It's kind of funny, I don't know if it happened to you guys Hoya but my Hoya rests during the winter and summertime. So they started growing during the spring and then when the hot summer hits they kind of stop growing. And now the season changes, they kind of started growing again and a lot of Hoya has shown some new growth. So yes, let me know down below if that happened to your Hoya too. But anyway, here is my Hoya Kroniana Silver. It's such a beautiful Hoya. I love, love this one. You guys probably already know it. The color is just it's something. I love it. It's also in the Leica B and they love Leica. So I'm just going to keep them in this pot in the Leica B. Here is my crony Anna Black. As you can see, it has been growing a lot. And there's even more new girls coming out. Let me get out of the pot. It's already not a small Hoya anymore. And there's several new tips growing. It's still in like a bee, 
and this is the one actually I have some algae going on in here as you can see I may have to repot it because I'm not really sure having so much algae could be a problem for the root I'm not sure but I really don't like how that looks either so I may find another pot like I did with the other uh, Corniana silver and put this one in there but so far it's pretty heavy and uh, I think under the sun the blackness kind of turned into a darker green but yeah it's also a very handsome Hoya It's my Hoya Calistophala. It's probably one of my favorites. Uh, I think a lot of people love this plant just because of the pattern on the leaf. It was still, uh, it was a tiny little plant when I received it. I pre-ordered this one with only two or three uh, leaves on it. And right now it has so many leaves. So yes, I'm pretty happy with this plant. And look at that, how beautiful those are. It's also started to growing from the top. So I think it went through a summer uh, dormant period too. And this is the newest leaves on this plant. But so far, I'm really happy with this one. It's not a fast growing Hoya for sure, but it's definitely one of the most beautiful Hoya. Here is my Hoya Finisoni Eye. It's, yeah, it grows a lot. Uh, when I first got this, it's also a not so big plant and uh, the color uh, it has a discoloration on the leaves. It was not less green, more towards yellow kind of something's going on. So I'm really happy to see how this one's right now. It's, it's such a beautiful Hoya too. And when the baby leaves come out, it's just so cute. Look at this. I need to test it. Oopsie. But here you see. It's such a beautiful plant. Let me see. You guys can see it. Really. Oh, look at this humongous leaves. So here is my Hoya shooting star. As you can see, it actually has not changed much uh, since the spring Hoya tour. I, I don't even remember it had these two new leaves or not, but I think this is the only two new leaves it growing this year. Besides that, there's really nothing happened on this Hoya. It did flower uh, in the later spring and then uh, it's just been dormant and nothing's happening on this Hoya. I don't think this Hoya like either hot or cold weather and we have a pretty cold winter and a really really long wet hot summer so this one might not be a good windowsill plant for me so I may have to change it the location on this one to see if I can help to grow a little bit but so far yeah nothing changed on this one Here is my Hoya Rutuli Flora. It actually grew a little bit. Let me pick it up for you guys. So here is a tiny little thing. It's come with, I think, two or three leaves. So these are the new girls. It's a slow growing Hoya for sure. At least from what I have for these several months, it doesn't really grow that much. And those leaves take a long time to form and become bigger. So yeah, I'm still a new Hoya to me. So we're still trying to learn each other. But so far, it's not bad experience with this one. This is my new Hoya shelves. I actually moved all my Hoya from growing light to here. 
it nests to the window so it has morning to noon light and it looks really good so all my other Hoyas are in, on these shelves so let's start with this Hoya Australia Lisa it's such a beautiful Hoya it actually grow a little bit since I put it into this pot as you can see right here, that's a new girl's uh, when the weather changed uh, in the fall. And there's some new girls in that one too. But overall, oh, oh, it's pretty happy. Oh yeah. I love, love this one. It's just, uh, it's so beautiful. So here are some other cuttings. Let me put them out. This is my fish top cutting. I just I cut them right when the su summer hit, so it didn't really grow much. It has two new leaves. Besides that, there's not much going on with this one. And also, I made a mistake with the Leica water culture. Instead of filling the pot uh, one third as most people do, I kind of fill them all the way to the top, just because my whole uh, drink a lot of water. I think because we're really hot in here in Colombia so it drinks so much water that I had a top on water all the time so I decided to fill all the way to the top but the problem is when I fill all the way to the top sometimes I rotted the top the leaves and then the the top roots I don't know maybe the Hoya doesn't like all the way to the top so actually I have two Hoya cuttings in this pot and this is the survival from my over watering them or over soaking them in the water but yeah here is my Hoya uh, Kanosa Princess Prince I repotted that one to another pot and those are leaves that it wasn't variegated they changed to green color oopsie but here is the last leaf that is variegated, all the other changed to green color. So I just picked those green out and put it in its own pots so it won't look crazy. And here is my fishtail. Let me put it out for you guys. This is my mother fishtail that I showed you guys before has some problems. It was bought as a cutting and then it grew in two branches and one of those died off so i was worried so i cut some cutting from this plant and rooted this plant and of course one of those cutting died too so but the mother plant looks actually really good let's see oh here is the funny one let me show you guys. Here is my old Hoya Sunrise. It actually growing right now. Here are the two or uh, three new leaves on this branch. You guys can see. And I think this is another new leaf if I'm not mistaken. Reading it, and here you can see. I haven't seen any dye leaves next to this pot yet, so I guess we buy a new plant to replace this one. The old one get nervous and started to grow. I don't know, but it's kind of weird. But I'm not angry with that. I'm happy with that. If it's growing, then I have two whole year sunrise, which I'm happy with it. Here is my Hoya Rosita cuttings. Um, I cut from the mother plant, I think uh, earlier summer, and they actually didn't grow until right now. So here is the new leaves. I think these two both are new leaves from this cutting. The other one, there's nothing changed yet. But yeah, this one also started to grow, which is really happy. Here is my Hoya Carnosa Wild Grape cutting. I cut from my mother plant. If you guys can see it, the mother plant is right actually here. I will show you guys in the next video when I show all the mature Hoyas. 
my collection. But here is the cutting, it's actually going pretty good. I would say the there's a new growing tips right here. And uh, I think those are all, this probably are new growing leaves. If I'm now, I'm, and here's some more. And there is a new growing tip right here, if you guys can see it. Yes, and there's tons of roots growing on this part. So I'm very really happy with that. I may sell this one when I feel they're ready. Just because the mother plants actually go really good. But look at this, it's such a beautiful hoya. I love, love, love the leaf pattern. You guys probably all know about that. But hey, look at this, how you're not loving this plant. I hope you all enjoy this video. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Happy growing!